Hello everyone, it's the Breet. Uh, the other day I got my Nexus 7, uh, the second, the 2013 edition, and um, I was able to successfully send some items over from the new Tamagotchi for You app to my Tamagotchi for You. Um, I've already had people ask me questions on how to do this because since the app is in completely in Japanese, it's kind of hard to understand. Now, I've already set my app up on my Nexus, so I'm going to try and mimic the screens to the best of my memory on what order they came in when you started up, since I can't do that anymore. Um, so hopefully I can help you guys out with that. This should be one of the first screens that you see when you start up the app for the first time. Um, you may get this one. I'm having a hard time remembering. This is just to have you save it to your box from your Bandai account, which I think is the screen that starts this process. It's just that me hitting this button doesn't work anymore because I've already registered my Bandai Namco ID, but um, it will take you through the process here. So you'll click this and it'll take you to an internet browser where you put in your credentials if you have a Bandai Namco account. Um, this will just help you save the items to your box because some items are going to be seasonal. So once they quit offering them in the app, the only way you'll be able to get them is if you have them in your box. So I do highly suggest at some point that you do set up an ID and make sure that when you do, you put your region as Japan even if you don't live there because otherwise it won't allow you to use your ID. So I already set mine up. You don't have to set it up to use it, but just keep in mind that there's a very good chance you'll lose some of those seasonal items if you don't set that up. So when you see this screen, if you want to send some items over to your For You, you can hit this button. After that, you'll be shown what options to go through on your For You to get it to the correct connection screen. So you want to get to your connection menu, which is the second item. Hit the third item in that list. It says uh, For You Apuri. And then um, it will start with that screen that has the little um, connection icon on it. So when you hit that pink button, and this shows you about the place to put it on your phone. Of course, this is a Nexus, so it's going to be a little different. You want to hit that next pink button. And this shows you the distance that you want to go away from it. Um, I, I'm not sure it, how much cases will impede the connection. Um, if you're having problems and you have a case on, you might try it without it. Hit that pink button again. And then this shows you the step-by-step -step screens of what you can expect but of course it's all in Japanese so let's just go ahead and we'll hit this for you button right here now this one's already taken up by my first for you so I'm gonna hit this bottom button the first time these will both be pink because it's just like your two save slots so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this bottom one hit high and now I'm gonna go on my for you go to the second menu the connection menu go down to the whoops go down to the third option. Now on the Nexus I noticed this little connection square here put it somewhere around the S and it works really well. Touch to beam and then it'll go through the registration process. Okay and then we want to wait again and then tap. You always go through two steps of this and now it's registered. So, wait for this to be done. It's like a little gift, a little mochi gift for registering. Okay, now you want to go ahead and hit the forward button and then you come to this screen. Now there's, whoops, there's premium items that you can buy here. These are the items that are on the physical touch cards. So you can actually purchase these and these will go through your Google Play Store like normal. Um, personally, I'm going to try and get the touch cards since they're, I mean, I get something physical and who knows if, you know, there's been debate about whether this app is going to continue to work in the future since it needs an internet connection to work. So I like to go into the little free menu here and this is where they have a bunch of downloads. 
And you can go into the different items here, which is like food, snacks, and clothing and accessories, etc. There's now if you go into like the games one, they haven't released any games yet to see what's new. Of course, you go into the new app or the new icon um, characters that you can download because you can send over characters are under this menu. So these are all the ones you've seen before that are owned by Bandai characters and then these are two licensed ones. So I'd just download the licensed ones while you can because I don't know if they're limited edition or not. And this shows licensed characters separately. So let's say we want to send over some kind of food. So we'll go into here. Let's say we want to send over this like jam covered bagel thing. So we tap that press the big pink for you button then go back onto our for you connection menu third item align it on the back if I can get this and <laughs> hold it in front of the camera at the same time there we go <laughs> wait for step two Touch to beam. And there you go. And now you'll be able to find that bagel in your restaurant. And that's really all there is to it, to have the stuff sent over. And once you send something over to Atama, it is uh, considered in your box. So if you set up your account, we'll go back back again and then here's your box and then if you go to the food oops I'm touching it down at the bottom it'd probably work if I didn't do that now since I've already sent it over on my other Tama it's gonna have everything regardless of what ID I'm signed into but it'll show up here once you have sent it over and um, so far that's all they really have with the app there is a password function. I haven't found any passwords that they've released yet for special items to unlock within it. But honestly, this is about it with this. Um, but I thought it would help people figure their way around this kind of confusing app and the really confusing setup process. So um, I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.